Hey everybody, it's Chris, and I am here to do a really quick project with you today. So it is hard to believe that Christmas is just a month away, but it has come upon us quite quickly, I think. So today I'm going to show you a really quick way to do some personalized ornaments. Um, and by personalized, I mean ornaments that would match someone's decor, or maybe you just wanna give a special little gift to someone. And this is really an inexpensive gift that you can give to someone, and it's kind of a piece of you. So I have these ornaments that I purchased from Michaels, and they all had this little stapled twine on the back. So I, I yanked that off because I figured that would just be in the way of paint. And then I'll probably end up just putting some ribbon on um, the back side of the ornaments, kind of stapled on. With this one, I think what I might do is go ahead and drill through here and then add a piece of ribbon for that one to um, be able to hang it from the tree. But otherwise, the other ones I think I'll just staple and keep it super simple. So these ornaments were purchased at Michael's and these already are kind of like a a shabby chic, if you will, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour right on top of those and not worry about the, the um, finish that's on them now. This one was just a plain wood ornament. It doesn't, I haven't done anything to it to prep it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour on it. As you can see, it's a pretty thick ornament, so I don't think I'm gonna to have to worry at all about warping or anything like that. So we're gonna kinda of do just simple like little flip cups. On this one, we're gonna direct pour it onto the ornament to kinda of control it a little bit. But on these other two, I think flip cups will be really cool. So for this one, I thought um, some peaches or corals would be really pretty. So I am using Light Portrait Pink, which is a Liquitex Basics paint. I've also got some Master's Touch Pink, which kind of has a little salmon touch to it. And then I have some gold that I've mixed up. And this is um, a metallic gold. I've already got my, my one ounce medicine cup. So I'm gonna start with the Light Portrait Pink. And then we'll put in, I'm just gonna squeeze that down in, I think. Um, that was the Master's Touch Pink, and then we're just gonna squeeze some gold down in there. All right, and this one, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. That's probably way too much paint for that, um, but I wanna make sure that I have enough, and since I have wings to cover as well, I wanted to be sure that we could cover everything. For this guy, we're gonna use Dioxazine Purple, so I'll start with that one in the cup, as well as Brilliant Purple. And then I'm going to add some custom silver in there, which is the Liquitex Basics with the Rust-Oleum Glitter. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white into the top of this. And I'm just gonna kind of pour it up from high and see if I can kind of help to create a little bit of fun effect in that one. And we'll go ahead and flip this guy over. And then for our snowman, we're going to use some blue. Um, I'm going to start with some light violet blue. And this one I'm actually going to layer and then cobalt blue. And I do think we'll put some, a little bit of white in there. And so this one we're going to actually pour out onto the snowman, so I do want to layer the colors in there. And then I will do a second layer of color. Just to be sure that we're good. Just like so. All right, so for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that right over the top of the ornament. And this kind of gives you a little bit more control over it. And you can actually kind of create some little patterns to it as well. So if you wanted to do like a diagonal stripe, you can certainly do that with this particular technique. And also you can go back if you find that I don't have a lot of blue here. I can go ahead and create another stripe right like that. And then I can also go up here to the top and possibly do one more right here on the edge where I can see that it's not covered. I'm gonna let that one sit there just a tiny bit. And then we're gonna pull these other cups and see what we have. So let's start with this one. And I'm gonna kind of pull this one up a little bit. And I am going to see if I can kind of reserve some of my paint in there just so that I can possibly cover the wings and everything else, which I don't think works so great for me, but I have a lot of paint down here. 
So I am just going to, I'm just gonna grab my spatula and I'm gonna pick this up and try to keep the colors the same and just touch this right here as well as on the other side here and up on the top of her head. And then I'm just gonna grab this down here and do the same thing. And all I'm doing really is just assuring that I will get these areas covered. I think I probably have enough paint on her, but I just wanna make sure before I start to tilt that I can cover all of her. All right. And then we'll just pick this up and tilt it around. Looks like I've got a chunk there, so we'll get rid of that. And then you just wanna make sure that you've got your edges covered. And if you can't cover it while you're tilting it, then you can most certainly go back and touch it up. That's not a big deal. All right, and there we go. I think she'll be quite pretty when she's dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and touch this up a tiny bit. All right, so there's that one, and we're just gonna let that one sit. I'm actually gonna push this one over to the side a tiny bit because I really don't want purple on there. Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna go ahead and pull it off. I'm gonna go ahead and add the little bit of extra down here and here, as well as right up here. There we go. I'm gonna let that one sit there and kind of do some fun stuff. I do think I wanna tilt it this way just a tiny bit so that all of my paint's not dripping off that one edge. And then I'm gonna go back to my snowman and tilt that one off as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run some of that paint off of the sides. Just kind of work it around and make sure that all of the edges are covered. Now, once these are finished drying, they will get a coat of clear on them. And then for the rest of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up with my finger and just touch the sides to make sure that everything is covered because I feel like I don't really wanna tip any more paint off of the top of it because I think that it's got a pretty cool pattern going right now and I don't really wanna mess that up. Okay, so as I started to say, so once these are dried, I'll probably let them dry for about a week or so and then I will come back and add a coat of clear coat to them and then that will finish them off and then they'll add, we'll add the ribbons to it and they'll be ready to hang. Okay, so now for this little beauty, I think I want a little bit more purple showing so I think I'm gonna tilt this way. I'm gonna go off the side here and I'll go off the side here and then I'm just gonna kinda run that up a little bit because I don't want all of that white showing. There we go. I have to say that was probably the easiest shape to do was that little ornament shape. And then again, just touch up and make sure everybody's covered and pretty. All right, guys, there we have three cute ornaments. Um, they will definitely be much prettier when they are dry. Right now, you really can't see that I've got the metallics in there, but um, like the angel, she's not looking like super great right now, but I can definitely tell that the that gold is in there and it'll be really pretty once it's dried. So there's three simple ornaments, very inexpensive little gifts that you can give to someone. So they are a great gift for coworkers. They also make a great topper for your holiday gifts as well. Um, they would also be super cute if you tied it around a bottle of wine. So lots of different ideas and things that you can do with these little ornaments. And honestly, if you can't find them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, um, you can certainly order them off of Amazon. You can find wooden cutouts for um, ornaments, tons of places. So please don't let it despair you if you can't find them at Michael's because I apologize, this should have been up much sooner because I know that some of their stores are kind of getting low on these things, but there's still some, there's definitely options out there for you to find these if you'd like to make them. All right, so that is it for 
these little holiday ornaments. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.